Today, we're going to talk about heart failure. What is it? It's also known as congestive heart failure or CHF for short. In heart failure, the cardiac or heart muscle becomes weak over time, whether it's due to a stiffness of becoming too hard and unable to relax, or whether the muscle is thinned out, it is no longer able to pump blood effectively to the rest of the body. The heart consists of mainly four chambers, two atria and two ventricles, but it's the left ventricle that's primarily responsible for being the main part of the pump. It is the most muscular, allows it to flow to the rest of the organs and the tissues. That blood contains valuable oxygen, minerals, and other nutrients for your tissues, but it is the oxygen that is critical for survival. Now, there are two types of heart failure. For simplified terms, it's easy to remember one as being systolic congestive heart failure. The percentage of the left ventricle becomes weak over time. Now, no human heart pumps 100%. We're looking at more between 50 and 65%. Now, low heart values usually imply a systolic congestive heart failure. In medical speak, we call it HEF REF, H-F-R-E-F, or heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. The second type of heart failure is diastolic congestive heart failure. And in this, the heart fails to relax and fill up with appropriate blood to be able to sufficiently supply blood to the rest of the body. Doctors will call that heart failure with preserved ejection fraction, or HEFPEF. There are several causes of heart failure. Number one, coronary artery disease or blockages of the coronary arteries. Now, not all blockages need stents or need to be opened, but blockages over time, which do develop over decades, can gradually impair the flow of blood to the heart muscle. With a reduced flow of blood over time, the muscle becomes weak and changes. Number two, valves. We have four valves that help regulate the flow of blood between the chambers. If they become stiffened with age or become affected with disease or other conditions, then this can also impair the heart muscle itself and cause it to develop heart failure. Arrhythmias, these are abnormal heart rhythms. Having too fast a heart rhythm over a chronic period of time, a long period of time, can actually cause an impairment in the heart muscle itself. If it's appropriate for the heart rate to be fast in terms of physiologic stress, such as excitement, stress, exercise. Heart attacks, when a patient's blockages become too severe, blocking complete flow of blood to the heart, that causes a heart attack or a myocardial infarction. And that piece of the cardiac muscle that was affected by the lack of blood will become diseased. High blood pressure, which over time can also cause structural changes to the heart. And then finally, a cardiomyopathy, where the muscle of the heart is affected by a disease. Think about autoimmune diseases like sarcoid and others. My goal is to empower you to take charge of your health. If you want answers, clarity and calm in a confusing and chaotic medical world, stick with me, like and subscribe. Until next time.